this is Bob LeCary from Fiber Instrument Sales and today I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process of stripping a fiber optic cable. This is a three millimeter fiber optic cable in diameter and if you notice on this strip chart here we're going to be looking at the bottom diagram which is for two or three millimeter cable. First thing I'm going to do is take my fiber that I'm going to strip and you always want to, if you notice there's a natural curl to the fiber, you always want to place the fiber down on your strip chart with the curl down and then flatten it out and it makes it a lot easier to work with. The first strip I'm going to make is to strip off 70 millimeters of the outer 3 millimeter jacket and to do so I'm just going to put a little mark here with my, mark, with my pen, my marker. Um, where the yellow section meets the orange and that's the 70 millimeter strip mark. So now I'm going to take my three hole fiber optic strippers and the first hole is for your outer jacket, the middle hole is for your 900 micron tight buffer and then the final hole at the bottom is for your 250 micron acrylic coating. So I'm going to use the top hole to strip back my outer jacket and this comes off rather easy just like so and I'm going to manage some, some of my Kevlar. I'm just going to cut off a little bit of my Kevlar here to make it a little easier to work with. The next step is now I'm going to strip off a certain amount of the 900 micron tight buffer. So again, I prepare my fiber with the curl down, flatten it out on the strip chart like so. Okay, and now I'm going to take a mark with my pen and mark the 35 millimeter strip length. Now this is a very important step. Uh, the tight buffer is in the fiber rather loosely, so we don't want to mess up our strip, our, our, our strip uh, length. So we want to, when we strip off the tight buffer, we want to hold the fiber from the tight buffer directly just like I'm doing here with my index and thumb. And then you're going to strip off the cable. I'm sorry, you're going to strip off the 900 micron fiber in small pieces because it's on there rather tightly. And if you try to strip it off in one swipe, you're going to get um, a broken fiber out of it. Now that I've stripped off my tight buffer, I have my acrylic coating remaining and now I'm just going to take my stripper with the smallest bottom hole here and strip off the acrylic coating in one clean swipe, just like so. And as you can see, there's a little bit of plastic dust on my stripper. Clean it. And just to reiterate, we have the measurements lined up here, just like so. And now I'm ready to put this fiber in a cleaver and cut it and then terminate it, splice it, whatever I'd want to do with it. But this essentially now, once I got the acrylic coating off, I'm ready to cleave the fiber. And once you cleave the fiber, you never want to clean it again. You want to then place it in your splicer or then directly insert it into a connector for mechanical termination if that's what you want to do. Thanks a lot. This is Bob LeCary again, product line manager for test equipment at FIS. If you have any further questions, please feel free to call FIS or visit our website at fiberinstrumentsales.com.